Hello, Pirates. I'm going to put this video in the announcements so parents will get it as well. So that way this helps a little bit with accessing and submitting uh, Google assignments through Schoolology. So I'm going to click out of this real quick. I'm actually right now, I'm a student in Mrs. Chavez's class. So, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to just go into this class. Now I'm going to go into grades because this is where I can, well, this is where, as Mrs. Chavez's class is different. So, how you navigate my class, do that a little different. But I'm going to go into this About Me assignment. And see, so it gives you the directions, and then it says My Documents. You click on My Documents. And this is where you can, up here, the blue is where you can edit. This is where you get into this document, and this is where you can edit. Like if I was a student for Mrs. Chavez, This is where I'm doing all this stuff. So again, if I was adding a picture, no, that one didn't work. But I know, it's okay, I'll get a picture. Ah, there's one of me. So I could take and that's where I could insert this picture. This is one of mine from the yearbook. Now, where she said do an introductory paragraph, again, that's where I could type. I could say, I am the goofball of Vineland Middle. Ah, <laughs> someone can't spell. Someone still can't spell. No. Tell me one. Ah. Sorry. 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 I got fixes. Oh, I don't have to change that. So she just has one slide and everything like that. So then, theoretically, you should go back into here, and this is where you submit the assignment. So I know some of you guys are sharing this with me, and then it pops into my email. We prefer that, again, you submit the assignment, and it says, are you sure you want to submit about me? You could say, yes, submit, or never mind, not yet. Once you hit yes, submit, it goes to Mrs. Chavez, and she's going to see in her messages, or in her uh, updates, her little bell ring, that Tig did an assignment. And that is... And then when we go into the little bell ring to see who did something on time, who did something late, that's where we'll find it. That's where we can open it, and therefore we can grade it. Please do it. See, now it says reload this document to gain access. If you don't have access, you contact the, contact the document owner. Once you've submitted something, 
You cannot edit it unless we unsubmit it and send it back to you, which I will do in your future self assignment if you didn't add any pictures or enough pictures if you want the highest grade possible. I will unsubmit it and say, um, Ty, please add pictures to get the best grade possible. Or please add more pictures to get the best grade possible. And then I unsubmit it and it's allowed back to you to edit it. And then that's where, again, you go back in, you hit edit. That's where you can go back in. And again, if it is unsubmitted, you are able, you should be able to hit edit and then mess with the document and then submit it back to me or Ms. Chavez or whichever teacher is doing this for you. I hope this helps. Again, it's so much easier um, for me to see what you've done when you submit it through Schoolology. If you're sharing it with me, I can get it, I can see it, but sometimes I'm me and I may forget to grade something and I've got to go find it through 12,000 emails. Where if I have it here on Schoolology, if I screw up and I don't put a grade in, I can see something that is submitted and then I can see that either if I put a zero in power school, but Ty got 25 out of 25, I screwed up, I can go back and fix that. Or I forgot to grade it, I can go back and I can fix that. Please, when we do something in Schoolology like this, please do it like this. If I've made a mistake or something is not processing right on Schoolology side, just let me know and I'll try to fix that. As always, if you have any questions, please message me through Schoolology. Thank you very much and have a good day.